Hi guys, I'm Sam, and this video is going to be a little different from my previous videos. The reason being is that these two builds I'm going to show you actually aren't mine, they're my dad's. But not like recent builds, these were actually built about 10 years ago when my dad worked in special effects. He didn't work in the industry long because of the terrible hours, but during his short time he built a lot of really cool things. And these are two of the builds that he actually kept over all these years. And when I saw them, I thought they were really cool so I figured I'd share them with you guys. So here we go, these are two builds from the 2000s that really made use of what limited electronics are out there, and I think it's pretty cool that he was able to do this with the parts he used. As you can see, it's an animatronic hand that mirrors the finger movements of your very own hand. So the first thing that he did was buy an RC car and a remote control, and tear those apart and use the transmitters and receivers. For the glove that the user wears, it's just a standard glove with a stripped down remote control which is how the signals are sent, except instead of right, left, back, forward, it's mapped to your fingers with the pointer finger also controlling the thumb. This was done because mapping the thumb to the controller would have been extremely hard and mostly pointless for the uses of the hand. So onto the hand itself. This was made simply out of metal tubes that my dad bent into the shape of a hand and then riveted the joints together to allow smooth movement. After this, he connected the strings to the fingers and springs to those strings which provided tension so that the fingers would naturally rest straight and below each finger there is a string that's connected to a motor that would pull the finger down as much as the user pulls his finger down. This allows the hand to move in perfect sync with the user and with minimal moving parts for low chance of breaking which is why this hand has stood the test of time. On to the second build, this cat is more than just a stuffed animal. It is able to move its mouth, neck, and hand, but unfortunately since it was built like a decade ago, only the hand seems operable. But one of the coolest things about this cat was that it was used in a music video from the 2000s. I'm probably going to get some retarded copyright strike, but I had to show it, and if you want to see the entire music video, then link is in the description. So this cat, like the hand, has an RC car transmitter in it and is controlled by a remote control. How it was built is basically the cat head was removed, then a Toys R Us with a talking and moving head replaced it, and the electronics were connected to the receiver, and the cat head was put over the talking doll. And for the arm, it was simply the same motor used in the animatronic hand and the cat was hardened so it moved smoother. And well, that's it. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video because it was really cool for me to see these and figure out how they work. Please like, comment if you have any questions, or want me to go further in depth about anything, and subscribe.